cube. This is a custom ROM for the Galaxy S1 GTI 9000. We're talking about CMOD 11 based on the newest Android version, Android 4.4 KitKat for the GTI 9000. So it is. This is actually uh, it, this ROM. It's on is alpha based, so it might has a little bit bugs, but I think it uh, runs pretty much good. I don't see any problems. This is one of the best ROMs for Galaxy S1. So now let's talk about the features Android 4.4 provides to even the Galaxy S1. Um, you can here add wall a wallpaper, a widget, or so show your settings. Let's go to the wallpaper section. You can pick an image. One second. I you can pick a manage for your wallpaper, or choose um, from here, from the stock. You even have the C CM wallpaper. Let's add a widget. For example, I want the clock. So here it is. Well, the answer is different as well. If I want to add another page, let's just uh, drag Facebook for an example. And let's take it and drag it to the next page, even if I don't have one. And that's it. I have right now two pages. That's how to create a new page. Um, another thing is, um, let's see how clean it is. You see how clean and smooth the launcher is in the Galaxy S1. Okay. In addition, I have Hangouts applications, uh, which is integra integrated uh, with the SMS messaging applications. All the applications are going here. Now let's check out the Google now. Let's click on this. Get based locations. So. Okay. Okay, so this is actually Google now for the Galaxy S1. Let's click on more, not available yet. Still having uh, some location problems, but it will be fixed soon. Um, and actually the Google now is pretty much working for the Galaxy S1 and it will be working as well in the future. I usually do it around, support teams, stock places, all the settings right over here. Now let's take a look at the notification bar for the Galaxy S1. You can see the same thing. Let's just remove everything. Okay, now let's go to the new features of the Galaxy S4. You have the new printing, here it is. You can connect a printer and print a file as a, uh, as a lot of just regular A4 page. Super, super user is the root across for custom ROMs. Here it's based on this specific ROM. Oh, I almost forgot saying, as every C CM version, this um, CM has a performance section too. This device is overclocked in order to get the, the full performance and stock. The maximum CPU is is 1.4 GHz, minimum instead of uh, two uh, 200 MHz default, I've downgraded it to 1 100 MHz. But actually the device is running pretty much good at 1.4 GHz, maximum CPU, this is um, the stock um, CPU speed is about only 1 GHz. Uh, the battery life is pretty much good on this device even uh, with this high clock speed. We have a lot of memory management um, settings over here, which uh, in which you can uh, choose everything in order to keep your device clean and good. Developer options, the same thing as every Nexus devices, or every actually not uh, just Nexus. You just have to go to about phone and then make uh, some click until it says your developer. Here you see, oh you can't see, it says no uh, no need, you're already a developer. Another another new thing is the location. Location is actually just um, a little bit integrated things on the Galaxy S, uh, uh, sorry, on the KitKat version. Well let's go to the dialer. The dialer is a little bit different as well, a new design uh, set for the dialer. As you can see, different buttons. And here is it, 8 call, wait 2 seconds. Then we go to settings, and everything is a little bit different. The, um, the dialer is a bit easier to use. 
and it's pretty much actually awesome. A long click on the bottom shows all the open applications. Actually, this is not new, just a um, regular features of the Galaxy uh, of uh, Android 4.4. Just wipe it out. Actually, it's uh, a long time, I think you already know that function. Let's go to the camera, uh, as the camera in the Galaxy S1 seems to be like the stock camera of every Nexus device. Uh, you can see uh, how the options look like. More options, you can choose white balance, you can choose red, everything you want, the location. Show location tag or not. Conditions. Here it is. Oops, accidentally. Uh, just a minute. Here, location, front camera, using front camera, and more options, show location, okay, here you can choose uh, the battery, uh, sorry, the camera mode, this is the regular, this is a video recording, and this is panorama, panoramic, which uh, doesn't actually work in the Galaxy S1, I'll show you, it just show black screen, uh, the device is not freezed. Uh, but it's not uh, working yet, we still have to fix it. Oh, another thing I forgot mentioning about the Google Now application. Uh, after checking the voice control, uh, it's still not working as well uh, for those who use it. There's still a little bit problems, I hope it will be fixed soon. And uh, that's pretty much it. Actually, it's a very good version for the, ga uh, for the um, Galaxy S1. Uh, if you're looking for a custom ROM, this is the best choice actually. Uh, this has excellent uh, battery life. Uh, it, it's uh, very smooth. It doesn't uh, stuck at all. And it's actually a very good device. It's a very good ROM for the Galaxy S1. I highly recommend this. The battery life is awesome, even, even though the device is overclocked. Well, that's it actually. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh and um, just here. Uh, a little bit few options, lock screen, themes, entrance, um, some of the options here are, are taken for CM. Display, uh, not storage, display lights. Okay, so if actually thanks for watching, please check out my other videos, I will be showing you um, the Galaxy S4 custom ROM running on GTI 9500. Uh, if we're talking about CM, there is a CM version for the Galaxy S4 of GTI 9500, the Exynos version, however it's still not stable. Once it's stable, I will install it on my device and then make a review. Oh, and last thing, right, right click, as you can see, reboot, reboot to safe mode. If you have any problems with the device, you can always reboot to safe mode in order to solve it and uh, even delete some applications. Power off, uh oh, sorry, reboot recovery. That's it. Thanks.